during the execution phase of a residential construction project you as the project manager discover that the currently installed plumbing does not meet the specific quality standard okay this issue could lead to leaks and long term damage to the property faced with this quality failure which of the following action would you choose to address the situation so i have a quality related issue i have something which should not be there and this has a potential future risk and implication and i need to do something about it yeah that's the the question let's see the option immediately replace the substandard plumbing installation direct action possibly you can do yeah but i keep reminding act after acknowledging and analyzing so we need to see if we have a act acknowledging and analyzing options available then i probably need to choose that else this is a good idea i need to replace this thing i need to take care of this issue so i need to recognize the issue i need to probably the impact is clearly uh, uh, is, is already hinted and then based on the priority i need to act on this issue but that's a good idea let's see other options so i keep a as a candidate option uh, 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 and move forward organize a training session for the construction team to prevent future quality lapses this is not taking care of current issue yeah the question was talking about that you have a quality failure what do you do about it now i start getting into preventive actions before i do corrective actions not a good idea yeah so option a is still better than this yeah I, i i need to look at for more better option if i can find it out but option b is talking about preventive which is not a good idea i need to do corrective action then i need to take preventive action rather than the reverse option c conduct an audit of all suppliers to ensure that only high quality materials are used in the future same problem the b and c because it is also focusing on prevention i should do that but i need to do corrective action first so i skip that option d implement more frequent quality inspection for the remainder re, re, remainder of the project yeah so i think we have a simple logic here b c and d all are pointing to prevention where a was focusing on correcting it first if i had an option of recognizing this issue and analyzing it and putting into a issue log and then acting on it yeah probably i could have uh, selected that but here it is directly jumping to the action which looks good idea out of comparing the remaining three because i need to correct the thing first before i do uh, a future prevention and future problem solving so option a in this particular case wins in this question now when we talk about where it maps to our process and tasks you can say this is definitely mapping to task 7 in our process group talking about plan and manage quality of product and deliverables it also maps to manage project issues you need to acknowledge analyze prioritize and resolve the issue as per the priority and satisfaction level needed for our stakeholders so i need to take care of this issue and later on we need to do a lesson learned analysis and do some kind of uh, a detailed root cause analysis of these issues so that we can take care of preventive action so that's a future path but it is definitely mapping to manage project issues so the topics covered it is talking about issue management and corrective and preventive actions and making you clear that corrective is more uh, uh, needed first rather than more needed first before you do preventive action because you need to take care of current fire before you start thinking about preventing the fire in the long run yeah so if you have a fire situation you want to take care of fire first and that's how we need to think when we are doing our pmp exam let's do a preventive and then plan for corrective actions